don't you want to create a Lego QR code? All right, first go here. Now locate the URL for the QR code that you want and click Submit. You're going to need to save this file as an LDR file type. It's going to download as .dat, so make sure you change it to .ldr. Okay, time for step number two. You're gonna go into Mechabricks, and we're gonna import that LDR file. It's important while you're importing that you tell it to import .ldr file types. It wouldn't hurt to pause here just for a second and take out your device to scan this QR code just to make sure that it works. Now export this file as a .dae file for importing into MergeCube's object viewer. Okay, time to go to the miniverse.io website. If you don't have a count, you're going to need to build one. And here you're going to go to My Objects, and then you're going to upload that .zip file that you downloaded from Mechabricks. Once your file is uploaded, it's going to be assigned a code. Remember this code. So now it's time to take out your device and open up the Object Viewer app. Once the app loads and opens, you're going to want to type in the object code that Miniverse assigned to your QR code. Time to grab the Merge Cube and let the magic happen. Open the Object Viewer app and aim it at the Merge Cube. And there you'll see your QR code. If you stamp it in place, you can remove the Merge Cube and get a 360 augmented reality view of your LEGO QR code.